Hello, hello, and welcome to your watercolor kit paint along video. We're going to have so much fun. I'm so excited. Let's get into it. So now I'm trying to figure out what color I want for the background. I don't know. I feel like that's a little too close to the floor color. And I like figuring this out with you guys live because I don't always know the answer. We are kind of playing with our paints and that's what I love about a limited palette is that it allows you to explore the different color combinations and see what feels right. So I feel like the purple and the blue is maybe a little bit, I don't know. We like that. I'm just gonna do a little spot here and if I don't like it, I can always clean it up. I think, I think I kinda like that. Let's see. We could also just go straight gouache. I think this is gonna be like too intense. Yes, too intense. Okay, so now here's an example of how you can clean up something that you don't want. So I'm just wet, just kinda wiggling it on the spot. There we go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That was a lot of paint, so as you can see, it's not totally coming up, but you know, not bad. All right, so I think we're gonna go with the purple. I'm feeling it. I love this purple. It has just a touch of the Payne's Gray, and we are gonna go and work around these flowers and the boots. So just remember, it might dry, but I'm kind of okay with that. We are gonna create an effect here so that we don't have to sweat about <laughs> the lines. So just kind of fill in a bigger area around the, around the flowers and I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're going to use a really neat technique. Where we add water in to kind of make it a little splotchier. This is called a bloom. When you add water in, and it creates these little lines. Here, I'll show you more. Let's get a little bit more of that paint here. And I almost like how, again, we're just kind of fading it out here on the sides. And it's okay if it's not even. I almost like that better. And I'm just kind of dabbing in some color here. And we're just adding it around the plant. Oh, that's a little dark, but that's okay. I'm just gonna wiggle it around. Push that paint around. No big deal. Let's see, I love the granulation that's happening. You can really see the texture of the paper back here, which is really fun. I think that's really neat to see how the paint clings to the paper in different ways. Different paints have different levels of granulation. Some are a little smoother, some are a little more granulating. And I'm loving what's happening here. So in order to see the bloom, we're going to just go ahead to this spot where it's a little more saturated. We're just dropping some water onto the page and you'll see the water push the paint out of the way. And this will vary depending on how wet your page is or how dry your page is. I kind of want mine to be almost a little bit drier just so the effect is more dramatic because you know we live for the drama. Okay. Just filling in these in between spaces. These are kind of the tricky parts. Yeah. You might want your smaller brush for this. You might just want to wing it. <laughs> Whatever feels best for you. I, of course, started on the right side. Should have started on the left because I'm right-handed, so my hand is dragging through all the paint. 
but sometimes you just feel like you need to start at a certain spot. You know, I just, this corner was calling to me. And I'm adding in just a little more paint down here. And here I'm just gonna kind of doodly do with my paintbrush. Like I'm just shuffling around in my socks. <laughs> I don't know, does that reference make sense? Just, you can imagine you're just kind of sliding around, scooting around, toodling around. Okay, a little bit more purple. I kind of like how dark this is in juxtaposition to the flowers. It really makes the flowers pop. Looks like here I've grabbed a little bit more of the Bloodstone Genuine that's next to the purple. It's kind of oozing together here. So I'm gonna actually clean up this with a paper towel, just kind of soak it up a little bit so I have a little more working room. If you ever feel like your paint puddles are getting too messy. So I'm gonna just tap that in. It kind of, it's not a big deal. You can see this area kind of already dried, so I'm just going back in, kind of pushing the edges, wetting them again so it's a little more even. We're just working our, oh yeah, there's a bloom. That's fun. Working our little way around here. Okay. Now, if you notice that your paint is just piling up really high, like it's got, kind of looks like it's gonna just fall and plop off into the other Parts of your painting if the paint if the watercolor paper isn't holding it still that means you're probably using too much water so you might want to just um, dab it on your paper towel first especially when you're doing the smaller details um, if it's out here it's totally fine because you can just push that around into the spots where you want but if you're working on the finer details and it looks like it's kind of wiggly and jiggly and gonna spill in then you're you probably have a little too much water so you can either try kind of going like this on your cup, or um, just tapping it on your towel before you get into it. So you have not as much um, paint and water moisture on your brush. And we are gonna fast forward through some parts of this so you can pause and play whenever you need to. Do not feel like you need to go as fast or as slow as I am. Whatever pace makes sense for you is just the right pace. And just don't be alarmed if it looks like it's going really fast because it is, it might be sped up. Just out if there's any spots that you want to add more darkness to, get on in there. And I'm just kind of throwing paint and water around here, and that is a okay. So I'm dropping some paint in to give it texture. You know, this is not this is not a fresh coat of paint. This is just. slapped on there. She's a busy gal, you know. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed the preview of this design from our watercolor kit. Stay tuned for the process video in super speedy mode. If it looks like fun, check out our watercolor kits with the links in the video description below to learn how you too can paint a fun design like this.